Well, Mr. Ezenwa Nwago is the Executive Director, Partners for Electoral Reforms. He joins us on the News at 10 from our Abuja studio. Thank you for joining us on the News at 10 tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Now, coming from the civil society organization angle, how do you receive the news of the Senate's decision on uh, the nomination of Loretta Noche? Well, for us, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a happy throwback uh, for forces that wanted to subvert the Constitution uh, in, in terms of willingly and willfully wanting to uh, dent irreparably the, the, the image of uh, independent National Electoral Commission by foisting on it uh, a very divisive uh, uh, person like uh, Mrs. Sonochi. And that for us is, is first and foremost saying they, they, we will continue to put the pressure on the uh, duty bearers to do what they have to do, especially when they themselves are the ones who have sworn to uphold the Constitution. We should be able to put the pressure on them to continue to ensure that they uphold the Constitution they have sworn, uh, they swore an oath to defend. So it's, it's exciting for us, but it is also a call to more work. Uh, we've seen a situation in which uh, those who did this have constantly renominated people who have been rejected by the Senate. So it's not Uhuru yet. Uh, it calls for vigilance and, and a lot more attention to ensure that, first and foremost, that the integrity of our electoral process uh, is defended with everything that we have. Let's look at the reasons given by the Senate, one of which is that there is a serving INEC commissioner representing Delta State, but th that wasn't why it was kicked against by, by uh, civil society organizations, I mean, um, some of your members. Uh, rather, it was the reason of her membership of the APC, uh, which she denies being a member since 2019. I mean, are you happy with that reason given by the Senate rejecting the nomination? Well, there are a plethora of reasons that, uh, this, we, that we brought forward for her asking for her rejection. And uh, incidentally, the lie was first and foremost that uh, Mrs. Uh, May Agbamuchimbu was from Cross River. That was what they wanted to use to hoodwink uh, the Senate until the, the, um, the Senate report for the clearance of Mrs. Sumbu uh, resurfaced and, and we put that in the public domain. And it became clear that Mrs. Mrs. Boo actually was not representing Cross River in the Senate but uh, was representing Delta State. So that's just one reason. But in terms of her partisanship, um, we've made the point that it, it is, it is, it is uh, clear even to the blind and uh, audible to the deaf that Mrs. Loretta Onoche affiliation to the APC is not in doubt. Uh, we find a constitutional challenge in that, and that is the loophole that they wanted to um, see whether they can take to say that oh, once you resign, uh, but we have to be clear about what is the mischief that, uh, that we needed to, it's about, the, it is about integrity, it's about the, the idea of that brand. If you dent the INEC brand irreparably in the way her nomination would have done, then it would have been challenging, especially when she's a personal aide to uh, a serving president. So that, 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 and a plethora of other reasons. She's also a dual citizen. And uh, people say, oh, it doesn't matter, but we think that her allegiance even to Nigeria will be false. So we are due, there are several reasons that we are due, but whatever it is that Senate hinged on to reject the nomination is gladdening to their hearts. In 30 seconds, what are some of the qualities that you think a national commissioner, doesn't matter where they're coming from, should have, especially for INEC? The, 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 the Constitution is very clear about, um, about what somebody should have. First, you have to be nonpartisan. You have to be somebody of unquestionable integrity. I, I, I hear people say, oh, those are heavenly, lofty ideals. But if they are unattainable, it will not be in the Constitution. So clearly, it's, it's about nonpartisanship. It's about person of unquestionable character is about competence, is about capacity, is about the ability to be insulated from, uh, from political affiliations. And, and that clearly, you can find many Nigerians who, uh, who qualify on that, on that count. So we shouldn't burden INEC 
with uh, people who will raise controversies in a way that will make them uh, battle, you know, uh, perception challenges rather than facing the work that they should be doing. Executive Director Partners for Electoral Reforms, Mr. Zenwan Wagu, thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. I appreciate you. Thank you.